What's up fellas? In today's experiment, I needed to figure out how hot is the rocket burner when I have it in rocket mode. You can see here that the fuel rail is preheated by that airline to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And today, I just had to figure out what was going on with this burner. I couldn't get it to hit 2500 degrees in the rocket test, and it kind of bothered me. So today, we melted this piece of cast iron with a little bit of uh, low carbon steel pipe still connected to it in about 11 minutes. You can see this is what the piece looked like here. So today I just had to figure out what was going on. Why did I only hit 2500 degrees? And we just didn't have enough air. We were only at 4.5 cubic foot per minute. And this here took 6 cubic foot per minute to melt this piece of low carbon steel. I had to stop the test because I was running out of battery. So. We just didn't have the time to do both tests at the same time. I didn't have enough camera. We needed this 13 horsepower air compressor to pull it off with 150 PSI of back pressure, 120 kilowatts of fuel, and six cubic foot per minute of um, airflow. And that gave us a maximum temperature, which is a new PR of, I think it was 2,668 or something like that. Definitely better than I've ever done before. The dry air helps out a lot. That was a new trick I recently learned before I got into this. So yeah, 2,668 degrees is the max temperature. That right there is a puddle of rotating boiling metal with a little bit of flux in there. And right here is a shot of the piece of low carbon steel. It's so incandescent in there that the camera has to blind out everything just to be able to see the pipe sitting in there. So I ran out of battery, didn't get to finish the test. And on top of that, I got to get in gear, guys. I got a bunch of orders I got to get together. So we're going to have to get back to this experiment. So this is what it does in rocket mode with the oxygen lance injection at the last moment. It pretty much melted a 3,000 degree crucible and melted every drill bit and piece of metal that was in the crucible itself. So pretty much melt anything. 